On the farm tonight, agriculture's connection to basketball. With all the excitement about the Virginia Tech Hokies trip to the Final Four, our George Nolet decided to do a little digging to find out how farming helped make it all possible. Love basketball? Thank a farmer. That's right, without some good old-fashioned farm innovation, the game of basketball would not exist. Um, well, I guess you learn something new every day. Let's start in 1891. The person who invented basketball, Dr. James Naismith, grew up on a farm in Ontario, up in Canada. He was working as an instructor at Springfield College in Massachusetts when he was tasked with developing a game that could be played indoors in the winter. Putting the problem-solving skills he learned on the farm to work, he came up with a game that involved putting a ball through a peach basket. A peach basket. You don't get much more on the farm than that. Naismith says, in part, the inspiration for basketball came from a game he played with the other farm kids growing up. It's called Duck on a Rock. Here's how you play it. This rock goes on top of that rock. That top rock, that's the duck. The other players would then line up and take their rocks and try and knock the duck off that rock. Now here's the catch. The player whose rock was the duck, they would stand in front to try to defend the rock. Rocks would be flying. Kind of crazy, but it could be fun, so. That brings us to what some critics say is the best team sports movie of all time, Hoosiers. Loosely based on a true story, it's essentially farmers and basketball, with the underdog small town kids using their farm grit to overcome great odds. That's something every farmer does on a daily basis, and they won a state championship. I'll make it. And on almost every farm, you'll find heavy equipment. You know, they say nothing runs like a deer. And apparently nothing stops backboard destroying power dunks like a deer too. The dunk is one of the most exciting plays in the modern game, but it was outlawed for years because of the danger of bringing down the rim. That was until Illinois farmer Arthur Errett used John Deere tractor springs to create the collapsible rim. That those springs were tough enough is no surprise to Eric Finch of James River Equipment. Yeah, it's not surprising John Deere makes a good product. And since we're talking about Virginia Tech's run to the Final Four, you have to remember Tech was founded in part as an agriculture school. The education and research done there is used to advance farming practices worldwide. So folks, a win by the Lady Hokies is a win for farmers everywhere. Go girls. <laughs> okay. Best of luck to the Lady Hokies. A lot more on their dream season coming up a little later. So Drew, there you go. A whole lot from the Did You Know Files. Also love the orange tie. Way to represent, buddy. Thank you. And so we got to get, I got to go back to this. The duck on the rock game. Did the players actually throw rocks at the, the defender? Drew, I had the same question. So I looked up an interview Naismith did about 100 years ago. If you threw the rock at the defender, it was a block. And if it was blocked, you couldn't knock the duck off the rock. And if you can't do that, you can't win. Hang on say, hey, Dusty, throw me the rock. Thanks, bud. <laughs> So, Naismith said the best way to get your rock past the defender was to loft it like a basketball shot. By the way, if you're wondering where that word, the rock, came from for the basketball, it came from Duck on a Rock 132 years ago. So, let me get this straight. The rim impacted by farming, the whole game, and... What else? What am I missing? The ball uh, as well? Pop, pop culture. Hoosiers helped to rejuvenate with the love of the game in the 80s. Uh, you know, you're talking about the Lady Hokies representing an agriculture school, Virginia Tech. And I'll tell you what, doing on the farm, every, every farmer I talk to talks about input from Tech as being vital to their operations. So, you know, let's go Lady Hokies. Go Hokies. All right. Thank you, George. All right, let's